Who will be a new World Series champion this year in 2024 because the Texas Rangers are out of the playoff race. They've got nothing left to play for. So how do we handicap this game tonight? Yankees and Rangers. Yankees are a pretty good size road favorite. I actually think there's some value with the over-under. I want to break down the total for you and give you a free play on the over-under in this video with analysis in just a moment. Hi, this is Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com, right back here on Wager Talk TV. Yankees having a fantastic season, obviously 21 games above 500. They look like one of the favorites to win the World Series. The Rangers will not repeat this year. They're currently seven games below 500, 10 back of the Astros, but more importantly, nine and a half back in the wild card race. And that's despite winning seven of their last 10, including back-to-back -back wins this weekend. Um, this is a team that's underachieved all season. They've 17 games below 500 against winning teams. So let's focus on the total though here for this video. And I want to look at the over eight and a half for a couple reasons. First of all, I talked about these a lot this season on baseball shows and videos. Seven and nine are key numbers because of extra innings. If it's four, four, it's got to land nine or higher. So whenever we get an eight and a half, I'm always looking for a reason to play an over. We have seen some sharp leading indicator books move to nine as of Monday afternoon, but most spots still have over eight and a half minus 125 available. And I do like the over in this game. Also have no problem fading Jack Leiter for the Texas Rangers, who the rookie uh, starter is not a good pitcher. And let's break down why he's in the rotation. There's a few reasons. First of all, as I mentioned, the Rangers are out of the playoff race. They're not going to repeat this year. And they're trying to get something out of the number two draft pick, not their number two, the overall number two draft pick in the 2021 draft was Jack Leiter. He's the son of Al Leiter, 19-year baseball veteran. Mark Leiter, his uncle, also pitched in the big leagues. His cousin, Mark Leiter Jr., also has played big leagues. And when you have the number two overall pick and you've underperformed, you're trying to get something out of that guy, and that's the only reason he's in the rotation. But it has not been going good for Jack Leiter or the Texas Rangers, to be honest. Let's look at his recent performances uh, so far in the majors and the minors, to be honest. I like to look at minor league numbers because it's often a little bit of a – uh, indicator if these guys can pitch or not. Well, let's start with what he's done in the big leagues. And once again, he's only had four starts this season in the big leagues with the Rangers. 12.8 ERA. He's given up 19 runs, actually 22 runs, 19 earned in just over 13 innings, 11 strikeouts, 8 walks, a 2.4 whip, and a 12.8 ERA. Can't get much worse. Why would he even be in the rotation? Well, once again, he was the overall number two draft pick three years ago, and he's the son of Al Leiter. I think that is the only reason he's still in the rotation. But does he have potential? He was really good at Vanderbilt. We get that back in college. But since being in the minders, he has not shown much. In fact, in 2022, in AAA, he had a 5.5 ERA and 22 starts in AAA baseball. Last year, in 2023, 5.1 ERA and 19 starts in AA. I'm sorry, AA and 22, AA and 23, and then they finally bumped him up for one start last year in AAA. And what did he do? Gave up um, eight runs in just three innings. And once again, this year in AAA, before being called up, he was a little better, 3.5 ERA. But once again, he's been atrocious in the pros, 12.8 ERA in four starts. The point is, he cannot pitch. He's now facing one of the best offenses in baseball. You can look at the Yankees team total over five and a half because they do have Garrett Cole on the mound. Cole's always obviously capable of having a very good outing. He's been a bit inconsistent as well. But over five and a half is a big number. I'd rather just take the full game over eight and a half. And if Cole does maybe struggle a little bit, we get some upside there. Um, but once again, I just don't see how the Yankees don't light Lighter up tonight. Al, uh, Al Lighter's son, Jack Lighter, is not the same. And we're going to fade him as much as we can because I'm not sure how long he'll be in the big leagues. Once again, take a look at this game. Over eight and a half goes tonight, eight o'clock Eastern on Monday. Hey, if you're finding these free videos useful, be sure to click the thumbs up, the like button, and comment below. Let me know if you like these videos. I'll keep them coming. I know football's here. We'll be doing a lot of college and pro football free play videos, so it's another reason to click subscribe and click the bell for instant alerts here on Wager Talk TV so you never miss these daily free play videos. Once again, baseball, college football, NFL pro football videos this entire week. And I also have best bets. In fact, I've got two strong baseball best bets tonight. Also a bonus free play in the National League on my page right now at wagertalk.com. So go get those two strong best bets and get a free bonus play as well. And if you're thinking about getting the best bets tonight, you really should consider the three-week special. And tonight on Labor Day is your last chance to capitalize. Buy two weeks, you get the third week for free. So it's a 21-day all-sports, all-access package for just $9.5 a day. That works out to less than $5 per play. I average about two to three plays a day because that can work out to anywhere from 3 to $5 per play over the next 21 days and nights. It gets both strong baseball best bets tonight. It'll get all my college football and all my NFL best bets for the next three weeks as well. 
Don't miss out. No promo code needed, but it expires tonight. Last chance to get the next three weeks for just less than $5 per play. All sports, all access. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Get there quicker with shortcut WT. Dot buzz slash SM. I know we're all excited about football, and I do expect to crush it once again this year in college and pro football, but don't sleep on baseball. The last 30 days, I've won 45 units of profit. That's ranked number one at wagertalk.com, going 25 and 12 of 45 units the last 30 days alone in baseball. And now college and pro football are here as well. Woo-wee! Let's get 21 days and nights for less than $5 to play. But tonight it expires right now. Steve Merrill, wagertalk.com. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter on X, at Steve Merrill, two R's, one L, at Steve Merrill on X, Twitter, and Instagram. And comment below once again, who do you like in this game, Yankees and Rangers, and what are the best bets you're looking at for Monday Night Baseball? Let's win together here on Wager Talk TV. And stay tuned right here to Wager Talk TV for some more great free content coming up next.